thousands of granny squares have gone into this pattern collection. Goodness me. Hey team, welcome back to HD Designs Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about the granny square, all about being a mama, motherhood and all about being a creative business owner. I hope that you are tickety-boo wherever you are in the world. I hope that you've had plenty of time to sit with your crochet hook and your yarn and work on some projects. Bonus points if it's a granny square project. If you're brand new, hi, hello and welcome. Thank you for giving this channel uh, an opportunity, a chance. What's the word? A try. Thank you for trying out this podcast. And if you're returning, what's good? What's happening? Welcome back. Okay, today's vlog. Today's vlog is about, it's an update. This vlog, right now, we are going to go through an update on my collection. I have a Granny Square collection that is coming in August, this August 2023 on Granny Square Day. And yeah, you guessed it, it is all Granny Square patterns. I have five Granny Square patterns coming and I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go right in there and say, you need, you need all of these patterns. And I will show you how far we are, what I've got left to do and talk about some of the biggest challenges I've come up against. And then I need you to guess what one of the patterns is. There is so, so much to do. Oh. <sighs> Whilst we chat, I am going to crochet because I have left my hook somewhere it was on here oh, it's still on here for you for you ow <sighs> teddy was walking around with my hook earlier supervise obviously don't come for me and Oh, I'm out of breath now. He left it on the sofa and then I just went to get my project out and was like, oh, my hook. Hmm. Okay, we're going to talk about the patterns. Then we're going to talk about everything else surrounding it, like biggest challenges, how I'm feeling, what I'm stressed about, what I'm like, all of that. First, I'm going to get my breath back. Let's do a whistle stop tour of the first three patterns that I have revealed. Starting with pattern one. Drum roll, please. Pattern number one is my blanket. Not just any blanket though. This blanket is called Heartstrings. It is a granny square blanket. And it's got a heart in it, obviously. I've talked all about the inspiration on all of these patterns and whatnot, so I'm not going to go into all of that right now. I will link the previous vlog where you can get all that information. Today I want to give you more of an update where I am with everything. First update on this one is that I've made some improvements to the pattern because I've been having feedback from my testers. I've added in additional photographs. I've added in a few little bits and pieces and then I have a list of things that I want to do. They are all in my pattern planner. So let me unbury them, bury it from under my stacks of grannies. Um, 
a couple of the things that I need to do is add my testers names to the credits page on my patterns so within my patterns I always give like special thanks to my testers um, and I also need to add in a few more pictures on how to join the background squares to the heart because that was that was um, causing a little bit of confusion I can easily clear that up with a couple of photos like I will do whatever I can do to make my patterns as simple and easy to follow and if I feel that I'm going to keep getting the same question via email I may as well just take care of it in the pattern like there's no need for me to have all these extra emails there's no need to make it harder for you to either I make my life as easy as possible right at the end of every test there's a form for people to fill out and one of the questions so one of my questions is does anything need to be clearer in the pattern um somebody's highlighted that the joining numbers in my heart might need altering um oh but i've altered that part way through i thought the pattern was well written lots of information included i like pictures and videos i love the heart track because it helped me keep track on how many i'd done and what was left um a little bit more clarity on joining the heart the triangles to the hearts which i'm going to cover that um the way you join the squares to the heart you sent a picture in the chat going to add all of that to the pattern and all, all 11 of them have said the same thing it's joining the, the squares to the heart because you create the heart and then you do all of the background as continuous join as you go and that is why we test these patterns so that i can get this feedback and i can easily easily rectify that so phew easy problem for me to solve um and then general comments and feedback and I've got it's a beautiful pattern the granny guide that's, that's attached is amazing great pattern lots of scope for different color combinations ideal scrappy project or planned color so sorry I forgot to fill in the form don't worry um hmm. I had fun working on this pattern and organizing my granny squares to be as random as possible once I figured out joining to the heart it was plain sailing lovely pattern super cozy blanket and easy to make we'll make again you've been amazing at answering questions thank you for choosing me to test your pattern thank you so so much honestly like my testers are my cheerleaders and just like the friendships that are coming out of i am so so grateful it was a very enjoyable and mindful make in general, the pattern was so fun and unique. The presentation of the pattern is so inviting and you're one of the nicest designers I've worked with. How nice is that? <laughs> um, and then keep your hearty style and lovely way. That is exactly what I see on your designs and as your brand, all made with much love, colour and wide thinking. I love, love, love that feedback so much. That I already made that into a post on Instagram. And I have shared a roundup of some of my finished testers as well. And I have more finished ones to post to Instagram. I will put my um, Instagram tag here and I will link below so that you can go and have a look. Oh my goodness. The colour combinations, like the blanket just looks amazing. And I know I've made it in two different colours and they both look so different some of the color combos that have been chosen like the black and white <sighs> it's just amazing so that's heartstrings that's where i'm at with that i don't feel like i've hit any real big like snafus with that no big issues no big snaffles snafus snaffles no big snaffles that one's fine i had an issue with my first sample which we still don't talk about that we do not talk about Bruno, but other than that, fine. Not worried about that one. It's on track for my photo shoot, which is in the 3rd of August. So let's go on to the second pattern. And then once I've done all the patterns, I'll talk about what I need to do for the photo shoot. The second pattern is my revival sweater. This is the cow neck version. 
You usually see me wearing it, but it is 28 degrees here and no, uh, it's too warm for that. I love, 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 love this sweater. I've already released the pattern and so anybody that has really that has already purchased it will be receiving a discount code for the collection um, and that is like the fairest way I think I can do it it means that you will be able to get the collection and you will also get the updates of this pattern even if you choose not to buy the um, collection you will get the updated revival pattern anyway so once i release that i don't know when i'm gonna re-release revival on its own i'm gonna release the collection and then release the individual patterns at some point so that is one of my frequently asked questions what if i already have revival you'll get a discount code you can buy the collection i <sighs> this pattern out of them all has been the most complex and the one that's given me the most issues and to be honest the issues have been quite minor but it's definitely been how I have reacted to it and how I've responded to it and so I've learned a lot um, again I've got the video linked so you can go and look at that one and it tells you about what I've what yarns I used my inspiration behind the design in terms of updates, what changes have I made? Well, when we last spoke, that test was on pause um, because I made the changes I wanted to, reformatted the pattern, sent it to a group of testers. Now, the biggest issue that I ran into straight away was that having 40 testers in an Instagram chat, that was just not the platform for it. It did not work. Nuh -uh, nuh -uh, nuh -uh. It was overwhelming. Um, it was hard to keep up with the questions. It was proven difficult to respond. So I decided to take that chat and everything I learned from it and set up a brand new group on Facebook. I now have a FACB group specifically for my testers and wow i was really quite apprehensive about having a group to run and having to divide my attention between like facebook and instagram the group is absolutely like more than i what blah, blah. it's absolutely spot on like it's a lovely place to be everybody's encouraging it's so easy to organize everything everybody's chatting away you can dip in and out as much as you want to everybody's interacting with each other um i can go in and deal with whatever needs my attention and i can dip in and out when i have the time to and yeah everybody can like keep up and that's the main thing i now have 78 76 because i'm in there twice technically with my personal page and my business page um so I've got 76 people in there and I've got four tests ongoing and they all are just like coexisting really nicely in this space. Wow, what a change. So if you're a designer and you need to run tests, I fully recommend Facebook. Like, okay, yeah, I'm only like a week into using this platform, but really really good i know some people suggested whatsapp and they suggested slack and discord but i didn't want to add on more platforms um, and i wanted something that was really easy to organize and i already have facebook i know what it's like to be in a facebook group so i don't need to learn anything new it's working so so well other things that i've done with that pattern is i sent it to be retech edited um i've Honestly, I sent a message out to my testers with all of the updates. I'll try and put that on the screen because that would be the easiest thing to do. I have added in additional stitch counts. I've added in extra photographs. I have um, re-clarified wording. I've broken pages down into like two or three pages so that there's more space. Honestly, the amount of work that I've put into this pattern wow and i kept running into the same 
issue. My biggest, biggest challenge throughout this whole collection has been myself, me and my head and overthinking and trying to get to a level of perfection that is just not attainable. And on top of that, having these fears in the back of my head that like, if I don't make this pattern really, really size inclusive, I'm gonna get canceled. If my, if, if somebody makes a suggestion about how I should grade something, then obviously I must have done it wrong. Like this is what my brain's telling me. I must have done it wrong because they've been doing it longer than me or they've got more experience. And I don't want people to turn around and say, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, what if they find out that I don't know what I'm doing? Perfectionism and imposter syndrome have been double teaming me like oh my gosh it has been so so intense and I have really had to I have had to sit there and really work through my own mind and my own issues to get to push through it would have been so so easy for me to be like I'm not ready I need more time I need more experience I need this I need that I need more money and to be honest for a while I was free falling in that spiral I really was and that's why the test was on pause for so so long and then the longer it was on pause the more I was like I didn't want to face I didn't want to face it I didn't want to go to the group and give them an update and have all these questions and it was me it was all me so that has been the biggest challenge without a doubt not crochet not finding the time me and my mind i read somewhere i can't remember where it was but i read that becoming a business owner forces you to face your own junk and it really really does so how have i navigated them i've had to sit down and write out my limiting beliefs like where are these fears coming from why do i feel the way i feel really get it all out on paper and then rewrite them into proper statements like affirmations affirming what it is that I want instead um I've had to like give myself so much grace and just be like I will never know everything and that is okay no one expects me to be the best at grading out there I think I know where a lot of this stems from and we'll go into that another time because I really have got a deep understanding now of where these fears have been coming from. Um, and then really just backing myself, like I graded this and I made the design decisions that I did for a reason. It doesn't mean that everyone will agree with them. Somebody else might look at it and think I would have graded it this way or I would have graded it that way. I have my own reasons because it is my design. I decided to make it cropped. I decided I wanted the certain neckline and I wanted it to sit on a body the way that it does. And I have then in the pattern provided details on how to make, like increase the length because not everyone likes it cropped and how to alter the neckline and I'm still glad that I added all of those in but I have realized that there becomes a point where if I start adding in adding in more and more and more alterations it's no longer just one pattern I'm actually giving like 20 different patterns with all these different necklines and all these different options and ultimately the design is the design and then as it is handmade, the beauty of that is that you can make the alterations that you want to make to it. So if you want to change the neckline, you can do. Isn't that like the beauty of handmade? We make it how we want and that is up to the individual maker. But this, this is the pattern and this is what it is. And that's that. And I've had to just learn to back myself on that. That's been really, really, really tricky it's meant that there's been quite a few panicked emails to my tech editor like oh my gosh you're just gonna have to regrade it and you've got to add all this in and this and this and this and this because and then I will step back and I'd be like it's not that bad it's not that deep it's okay let's push three annoyingly <laughs> use your dad back
where was I? My testers are now up against it with the time, like I've made it harder for them. <sighs> I do feel like I've made quite a mess of this test. So I have apologised to my testers numerous times. Um, between Teddy being repeatedly ill, sleep deprivation, which is definitely exasperated, exasperated, exasperated these like thought spirals and then combine all of that and we're now in July and I've finally restarted the test and I want to release this pattern in August so they literally have like five weeks <laughs> the only saving grace of it is I know the pattern works because I've made it so many times myself and that most of them have already made their granny squares as well and on top of that it doesn't take too long to make it so I'm hoping that most people will be able to complete it and give their feedback um but yeah big big learning curve if you are one of my testers like please accept my apologies forgive me for burying my head and I just felt so out of my own depth and then looking back I'm like why like you have you can do this you've already done it so yeah I'm really really sorry and thank you so so much for your patience and your encouragement and supporting me honestly it means so much so that's the second pattern I still have things to do on the pattern on revival within the written pattern. I still have yardage to add in, um, schematics. And then I've added in a couple of pages and I want to put in um, pages, pages, pictures of my testers finished revivals so that you can have a look at it and then you can decide whether you want to make yours longer or add more squares and all those bits and pieces. Um, yeah that that pattern there was a point where I was like this collection's not going to happen and again like the pattern's already out there there's nothing wrong with the pattern this was supposed to just make like improve it and it almost derailed me <laughs> oh. ah. so then that takes us to pattern number three and I revealed this one not long ago um threads is anyone on threads i need to turn the notifications off because it's been non-stop all day anyways pattern number three revealed this on instagram the reception that this pattern got wow i had more testers sign up for this than i have revival and that's my most popular pattern ever i had over 80 people sign up to test this pattern let me show you this is iconic my granny square bag it is 100 percent crochet you do not need a sewing machine you do not need a sewing needle the only thing you'll need is a darning needle for your ends it is fully lined it has metal hardware magnetic clasp, D-rings, and um, you can choose to have the store-bought chain handle or you can crochet a handle and it holds its own shape. Like, look. Mm -hmm. This is the crochet version of the handle and so pleased with it. Now, what I would like to do is sell this as a kit eventually. And that's why I want to be able to crochet a handle so that I could offer different options. But that's a little look into the future. So this is iconic. It's amazing. And since I last spoke to you, um, I've started the test. 
there are like 40 testers and some of my testers have finished their bag already um it's a speedy make it just it's amazing seeing other people making their bag i'm like oh, seeing my pattern in the wild that's what it is seeing my pattern in the wild um i realized that when i sent the pattern out i'd sent the wrong gauge lord give me strength such a silly mistake thankfully all my testers were really really understanding some hadn't gotten that far um no harm done and in terms of like next steps and what I need to do I'm just going to leave that one running and then um in a couple of weeks time just get in touch with everyone to make sure everything's okay see if they've got any issues I'm sure I will start to get more feedback at that point and then update the pattern that is out of all the patterns so far like the most plain sailing and the one that I'm the happiest with I think that that's going to be the most popular out of all of the patterns, but we shall see. Oh my nose, hay fever. Ooh. That leads me on to pattern four and five. I'm still making the samples. I actually had a sample of pattern four. I came to try it on and realized I needed to completely remake it and rework it. That's fine. It's 73 granny squares. So I've made the granny squares, you've seen some of the stacks, and I am in the process of remaking the sample. I haven't given, I've told a couple of like my main testers what pattern four is. Other than that, it's a complete secret. So I'm going to put a couple of pictures on the screen. Can you guess? what it might be what is this pattern um i'm really intrigued to see if anyone can tell at this stage now this one i am feeling <laughs> i'm feeling the pressure on this one because i want it tech editing and then i need it testing and it's probably going to give testers like three maybe four weeks and I'm making the second smallest size and it has 73 granny squares so the bigger sizes obviously are going to need more squares and so ideally I'd give them so much more time um, most of like my most reliable testers are already testing patterns for me as well um, so I'm probably going to have to find new testers that I've never worked with before so yeah I'm just getting a little bit like I'm trying to just do the next step and not worry about how I'm going to, how it's all going to come together. I'm just trusting that it will come together um, and just learn a lot in terms of the next collection I do, like the bigger items. I need to get the samples done straight away. <sighs> Probably would have helped if I'd started with the bigger patterns first. Like Iconic is like the smallest item. I'd say the second simplest out of them all. Anyway, we learn, we learn, we learn. And that's what it's all about. I wouldn't have learned these things if I hadn't tried to do this collection. And I like to think that by doing this collection, I've got like a good understanding of what it'd be like to do a book, which I would love to do one day. So yeah. Pattern four, I'm frantically doing the sample. I've been um, working on it every evening once Teddy goes to bed and I'm hoping to have it done, like not the ends woven in, but the sample done so that I can write up the pattern Monday and then I'd like to send that to my tech editor and ideally this would, the test would start Saturday coming to give them enough time. So pray for me let me know if you um test crochet items um because i'm going to need some more testers and it'd probably help if i told you what the item was but i want to do the great big reveal once i've got the sample and the photos so i'm holding out for that i really really hope once i put this all together that it works as well that's the other worry that's the other unknown 
um, I am making, obviously I'm designing this, so there could be issues with it and I'm gonna need to fix it. And time is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the fifth pattern is, um, again, I've not revealed it. I know exactly what it is. I've started on the sample. I got to the point where I need to take some photographs and I paused that one. It is a really like quick make, so I'm not worried about that. And I only need like, because it's not, it's not a garment, so there's not like nine different sizes to test. So I'm not nervous about finding testers for that one either. Um, I'm in a big crochet, like a Facebook group for crochet pattern testers. And I think if I post in there that I will find some testers. So that one is okay. Again, I just need to get it done. So once this pattern is sent off to my tech editor by hopefully Monday, then I'll be turning my attentions to the um, fifth sample, the fifth pattern. I'm looking at it because it's behind you. And we'll get that one finished. That one won't need tech editing either. It's going to need proofreading and I can get that sorted, no problem. So I'm feeling confident about that one. That one should be okay. Yeah, so next steps for the collection. Obviously get the samples done, get all of the patterns, um, get the fourth pattern tech edited, get the test started on the final two patterns, and then it's photo shoot prep. The photo shoot is the 3rd of August and I'm going to get all five patterns photographed. I actually have a vision board. I made this vision board back in like March, February, March. I know exactly what vibe I want it to be, how I want the photographs to look. And um, I know what outfits I'm styling like my items with, my designs. It's on my wall at the moment. The samples will be done, but I have a feeling I'll have a lot of ends to weave in. Um, the heartstring blanket still has ends to weave in this. I've not weaved in a single end on this one. And I'm also going to remake another version of Revival um, because I want it to match this and this and be made with the black yarn. So I have that to do as well. And today is June, July 7th. So I have less than a month to make a couple more bags, finish sample four and five, make another revival and weave in all the ends. So it's safe to say that every evening from now until my photo shoot, I have a lot of crochet to do. And that's okay, the crochet is the best bit. And that's just it, isn't it? It's time, I need to make the time for it. I also need to get my samples finished, my patterns written up. I need to be in my Facebook group quite a bit at the moment because I have four tests going on. Um, I also have all of my social media to keep going because I can't just go quiet and then turn up in August and be like, by the way, you haven't seen or heard from me in like six years, but six months, six months, six years, six weeks, but my collection's here. So thank goodness that I have my year planner, my bestest year yet to keep on top of all of this because without it, my brain would be mush, absolute mush. And I think, all of this would have the potential to have me in the corner crying. As it is, I'm just channeling all of that energy into crochet. I think one fun thing to do at the end of this um, collection is count how many granny squares I have made for this collection. Because if you think I've made heartstrings twice, um, I'm remaking this sample, though, I made the first sample quite some time ago. I've made two Iconics so far. I'm gonna make another revival. And then I've got the fifth pattern as well. Plus I wanna make a couple more Iconics. 
like how many granny squares will I have made? Is going to be hitting the thousands. Thousands of granny squares have gone into this pattern collection. Goodness me. So that's my updates. That's where I'm at. Thank you for giving me that time to sit and go through it with you because I feel I just needed someone to sit and talk to about this collection. Um, that's one of the things of working by myself is I don't really have co-workers to just sit and hash out the details and talk about like what's going on and what's going on in my mind. Obviously, I speak to Brad about it. And I message like Keely, she moderates, hi Keely, she moderates my um, Facebook group, thank you so, so much. And I speak to a couple of other testers as well, but I haven't got like anyone that I can just sit and just be like, this is what's happening. So thank you so much for allowing me to do that. Thank you for giving me that space. Thank you for giving me your time. Now, do you have any pattern collection? questions like is there anything that I can help you with because you've helped me so much is there like are you trying to put out a pattern and you've got questions or have you got questions on my collection because if so put them below and I will answer those for you I actually love spending time in my comments at the moment and the next video I am about to record is actually from a comment that I received so yeah thank you so much for letting me go through all of that with you I look forward to seeing you in the comments and so I joined threads I don't suppose that any of you have joined threads have you because I don't know about you, but I saw everyone joining and I thought, oh, I'll go see what it's about. And then I got told if you delete threads, it deletes your Instagram. So it looks like I'm keeping the account. Um, so if you are on threads, you can also go and find me on there. What do you think to threads? I did see on the news today that um, Twitter is potentially launching legal action against threads and then I was like okay so if they delete threads does that mean it will then delete my Instagram account anyways I'll leave that scary thought with you <laughs> and until the next video take care and happy making see you soon bye bye here I am talking about this collection and I have so many plans in my head for the next collection. I've had to start writing them down. I was driving today and I was like, well, I could do this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern. And then I was like, maybe I'll, I'll put this out in January. And then I was like, hang on a minute, rain it on in. We have this collection to finish. Yeah. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. Hey, hey. Nailed it.